guys. So today we're going to be doing a review of Bare Multi-Surface Roof Paint. It is for tile, aluminum, and asphalt shingle roofs. It's the only roof paint I found um, that is stated right on the can that you can put it on shingles. So the reason you're clicked on this video is probably because you're like me and you don't like the color of your roof. I got brand new siding on this house. Um, and I like the color of the siding, but the color of the roof, that orangish brown, really clashes with it. And the roof is in perfectly fine shape, so I don't want to spend like $6,000 replacing it. So I'm going to spend $175 on five gallons of paint and hopefully change the color and make it look a little bit better. So anyway, the first thing I'm going to do is, yeah, let's go over... Actually, let's talk about the paint first. So, I purchased this on HomeDepot.com, ordered it straight to my house, and um, I got the white reflective base. It's like a light base, number 65, as you can see, because they don't have any dark bases anymore, any deep bases. So, what I did was I took this white paint to Walmart, and I had them tint it for me to this dark, dark gray color. So, here's the color of my siding. You can see there's a contrast there, and that's what I'm looking for. Um, so, a little disclaimer here. If you put too much pigment in a in paint, it may not set up correctly. And this paint here took almost a half gallon of black pigment to bring it to this color because it started out as white. Um, so, this is like 10% pigment, 90% paint. So... Just a disclaimer, you're not supposed to put that much pigment in your paint. That's probably two to three times as much as you should have. Um, hopefully it sets up right. It dried up perfectly fine on the can, so I'm not too worried about it. Okay, now for applying the paint, um, the website says you should do it on a cloudy day, which we have. And you should clean your roof first with a um, mold and mildew cleaner um, and a concrete or whatever asphalt etcher. This accomplishes both of those things. So the very first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray down the roof with this, um, using my uh, big sprayer there. And I'm gonna keep it on there. Well, I'm gonna follow the instructions on here, dilute it as it should be and spray it down and scrub it with the broom and everything else like that says it should be, then rinse it off. I'm gonna let the roof dry and I'm gonna spray that on with my Wagner um, Control Pro 130 there. Highly recommend that painter. It's a $210 painter. I've painted uh, inside of two houses with it perfectly fine. It works great. So anyway, let's go ahead and um, start cleaning the roof and then I'll let it dry out and then we can paint. Alright guys, so I used all five gallons of this cleaner. Um, I diluted it about 50-50 and sprayed it on multiple times over the course of an hour. Um, 
to the whole roof, just making sure the whole surface stayed wet with the cleaner. Um, I didn't go over much of it with the broom because I realized I was knocking off too much of the aggregate from the shingles. And uh, I also realized that the water, or that this stuff was already stripping away the dark um, mildew stains without having to um, use the broom on it. So anyway, I used about two thirds of this on the back half of the roof and the, in the, on the front half of the roof that faces the sun that had way less mildew. I used about one third of it um, up there. So all five gallons of that have been used and the roof has been rinsed off. Um, I rinsed off the roof very thoroughly with the hose, but it had been, I was taking a long time and using a lot of water and there were still suds uh, everywhere I sprayed. So I think I'm gonna wait to paint another day and let the rain hit this roof a few times. Um, the water that's, that way I know all of the chemical up there, all the soap and stuff and bleach gets washed off. Um, I know it was working really well because you used to be able to see really defined dark areas in the low spots of the roof um, that aren't there anymore. If they're dark in this video, it's because they're still a little bit wet in those low spots because that's where all the water was running through. But all the water that was running off, you might be able to see it down here, um, had a lot of... Um, dark nasty color to it there is some aggregate down here but i guess all my rinsing did some rinsed it away but all the water that was coming out of there was like um nasty water so i know the roof got significantly cleaner from doing that so anyway like i said i'm gonna wait a few days i'm gonna let the rain hit it a few times um well probably gonna wait a couple of weeks actually let the rain hit it wait till i have a few days of uh dry weather and then i'm going to paint so yep all right guys, so it's about a week later. We just had two days of rain. So I think the roof has been washed off su uh, sufficiently from all the cleaning chemical. So I've cleaned the roof of all the mildew. Um, I've let it rinse off. It's a cloudy day today. It's like, I don't know, high 60s, low 70s right now. And we have uh, about seven days straight of no, no rain in the forecast. So I think I've given myself every chance possible to make this a success. I've already got the paint mixed up, got the sprayer spraying a good pattern here, and a roller on the roof to cut in the edges and stuff. So let's go ahead and start painting. That is the back side of the house done. You see a lot of lines in it now, but that's just where it's still wet, where I oversprayed or overlapped the spray pattern or whatever. So I'm getting pretty close on halfway through my paint, so I'm gonna to to be pretty um, efficient on the front half of the roof to not run out. But I think I can probably just barely do it. But yeah, that's what it looks like right after I painted. All right, so there's the front half of the roof done. As you can see, there's all the the shiny lines where it's not dry yet, where I overlapped my spray pattern. But it's all one even color now. And I'll get back to you when it is dry and looks like it's going to look uh, forever, basically. I used, on this 672 square foot house, I used almost all five gallons of paint. There's just a little bit left in this bucket. Like, maybe an inch in the bottom there that I'm going to use for touch up if I have to. So, yep, we'll see. I'll uh, let you know when it's dry. Alright guys, so it's the end of the day today and the paint is all dry up on the roof. You can still see a few of the lines um, where I overlapped with my spray pattern. Apparently, even when it dries out, if you have uneven paint, um, 
or uneven like thickness of paint it will show so keep that in mind but yeah I think it looks way better than the original and I'll put a picture of that right here for you to compare uh, the original color too but yep that's it right there I'll do an update video I guess in like I don't know a year or whenever I think about it to let you all know how it held up so yep thanks for watching and I think this is a pretty decent way of making your house look better without uh, replacing the whole roof.